Since introducing the AirDirect wireless tethering system, the most common request we get is to see it in action. In this video, we'll demonstrate how the AirDirect transfers images into Capture One. Before we get started, let's revisit some of the key features of AirDirect. Shooting wirelessly with AirDirect means a cleaner, safer shooting area with fewer hazards. With AirDirect, you have up to 200 feet of range for more mobility on location and the ability to transfer JPEGs, RAW files, or both depending on what your shoot calls for. Tether Tools developed AirDirect with a professional photographer in mind. The technology in AirDirect simulates a USB connection to your computer. This enables AirDirect to work with a wide range of tethering software. This means you get to maintain the tethering workflow that already works for you, while freeing yourself from the restrictions of being connected with a cable. Your images get ingested directly into your tethering software. No workarounds and no watch folders to monitor like in most common capture scenarios. This saves you time and gives you full access to all your software's features during your wireless shoot. Let's see how that process works with Capture One. In this setup, I'm using a Nikon D850, Capture One version 12 with macOS Mojave, and I'm shooting JPEGs and RAWs. AirDirect is compatible with most Mac and PC operating systems. Check the compatibility tab on tethertools.com slash AirOS to make sure it'll work with your current gear. I'm using a MacBook Pro, and the process to connect and use AirDirect is similar on both Mac and PC. To connect your camera to your computer using AirDirect, follow these steps. First, turn your AirDirect on and set the unit to ADU. For Canon and Nikon users looking to tether using our Air Remote mobile tethering app, set it to mobile. Next, when you've got a solid blue light on your AirDirect, go to your computer and connect to the dedicated AirDirect Wi-Fi network. AirDirect creates its own Wi-Fi network so you can wirelessly tether anywhere, even on remote location shoots. You can still connect to an existing Wi-Fi network using bridge mode. Bridge mode allows you to continue to access the internet while you shoot. Once connected to the AirDirect wireless network, open the AirDirect utility, or ADU. The ADU creates a simulated cable connection so your tethering software detects the camera. When ADU displays that it is connected, open Capture One and watch for your camera to be detected. When your camera is detected, you're ready to start shooting. These first couple of shots are JPEGs. For those with experienced tethering, you'll see speeds similar to using a cable. Now I'll switch to RAW and take another shot. RAW files do take longer than using a cable, which is why we recommend only shooting the minimum file size your shoot calls for. Or you can shoot compressed lossless RAW files to ensure optimal transfer speed. In fast-paced shoots like fashion photography, where large file size and quick review are essential, we still recommend using a cable. With your images going directly into Capture One, you've got your images right where you want them, without changing your workflow. AirDirect is already helping thousands of photographers go wireless and improve their workflow. From high volume school, team sports, and dance photography, to live events, portraiture, product, and food photography, AirDirect is the tool for you.